running with an engine crane. What's the point in that? Today's rather excellent task is stripping down this KV6 engine because somebody wants to buy it as a bare block. That means taking the gearbox off, inlet manifold, alternator, injectors, starter, that's a drive shaft there, aircon pump, power steering pump, the whole lot basically, all the sensors as well. It is going to be a very exciting time. <laughs> I like to wear overalls to keep my clothes a bit clean, but I've got a habit of just wearing my trainers all the time. And I think for this job, I should put the old proper safety boots on. With all that loom removed and the starter motor, there's only two bolts to remove and a few bolts from the gearbox in that bread bag there. And it's almost ready to come off. That took me not very long at all, so I'm very happy about that. I think this gearbox has never been off and that's why the bolts weren't up too tight. Often it's quite useful if the thing's been taken apart recently and then put back together because nothing's had a chance to rust up but it rather depends on who's put the bolts back on. It simply isn't necessary to go beyond the necessary torque with the bolts and then do some more and then get the Gorilla out to have a go and then phone up the Incredible Hulk to just torque them up even further because they're never going to go and done again. As you have just witnessed, the gearbox is off the engine. That is what I was considering to be the awkward part actually, and why I went to the effort of dragging the crane up here, and I didn't really need it. As the gearbox came off that easily, imagine how easily the inlet manifold is going to be. Watching that short clip there, you're probably thinking, this guy's starting to know what he's doing. Excellent. And uh, you know, no, and I, honestly, I didn't already take it off and just put it back on just to take it off and make it look like I was finding it very easy. Honestly. These gloves always tell you how they're powder free, which is great because then you need to use your own talcum powder so you can get them back off again. Injector rails are out, uh, but the injectors are still in and so are three coil packs at the moment which will be coming out next they're very easy to see how they come out it's just two eight mil bolts in each one it seems like the kv6 is uh, is one of those engines that's been put together quite well after all <laughs> next job is this alternator that's that thing there another easy job once the belt's off 10 mil bolt there 13 mil bolt there take them off alternator comes off and it's off of course it's off. It's very difficult to film taking a part off at the same time as filming taking a part off. Everything so far has been going really well. Bolts all coming off nice and easily. It's not really very Project Nigel that though I suppose is it? What you really want is to see me really really struggling. <sighs> you want to see me desperate and wishing I hadn't started. Well, maybe that's about to happen. <laughs> How do you get a picture of that grill? <laughs> Have a look at that car again. It's a Rover 75 with an MGZT front bumper on it with a Rover 75 grill on the bumper. It's, it's, it's strange. Just had a uh, visit from my friend Poole. And he's brought me a big bag of tea bags. Look at that, 240 tea bags. And another pasty, which actually I've just scoffed. I have uh, indigestion now. And it might be because I had another pasty. I'm not going to learn, am I? Anyway, the good news is the engine is almost stripped. Not stripped to absolutely nothing, just the stuff taken off that I know I can sell elsewhere. And that means I deserve a treat. And the treat is washing Nigel. Oh. And then I remembered I had a shopping list to prepare for a young lady who's uh, coming around to collect uh, some R8 
rear lamps and a wing and a steering wheel. I want to say, young lady, I mean a man called Matthew. Mm. I'll be seeing him in the morning, unless he forgets to come around. I really enjoy washing Nigel. I just don't like vacuuming it out. I also need to teach my little people a bit better about not drawing on the glass when there's condensation. Proper clean glass makes all the difference. Another little job I've been meaning to do on this for a while is trying to remove all the tar spots on this wing. And this stuff does the job quite nicely. Look at that. Just a quick wipe and all that muck's come off. At the risk of becoming really rather tedious, I promised I wouldn't start talking about Nigel again. I can't help it. I just love it. I had a few days in my ZS because it was sunny. It's sunny and then you think, gosh, that looks good in the sun. So I cleaned it and then drove it around and quite enjoyed it. And then I come back to this and I'm back to enjoying it even more again. It's brilliant. Gives me an idea though. My rather silly car review of the terrible car review in fact. What if I did a terrible car review on Project Nigel? And I did it really honestly and didn't just gloss over all of its faults. Maybe it hasn't got any faults. What do you reckon? Should I do that? It would be quite cool. Especially if I discovered my own car as a pile of junk. Coming up with some good little ideas actually. I am going to do it. Project Nigel is going to undergo the scrutiny of me to discover how terrible it actually is. Yes, excellent idea.